Let's suppose an eagle egg accidentally falls into a chicken coop. What will happen is that the chicken will hatch that egg along with the eggs that she is already hatching in the chicken coop. At a certain point, the chicks will hatch, including the small eagle. This chicken will take care of that eagle as if it were her own child. In the mind of the chicken, it is her offspring, and she will teach her how to scratch, how to eat worms, how to eat cockroaches, how to eat leftovers, it will teach you everything a chicken needs to know to be a successful chicken. That eagle that will be born there in the chicken coop, and since the chicken has no mirror, it will never realize that it is different from the other chicks. She will think that she is just like the other chicks, and she will learn the routine of a chicken. It will scratch and will stay only in the chicken coop, only within the boundaries of the yard. She certainly won't fly, and she'll certainly think she's a chicken instead of an eagle. Now, the question I want to ask you is this, is she an eagle or a chicken? She's an eagle. The big issue is that she doesn't know she's an eagle, and in addition to not knowing she's an eagle, she's acquired chicken habits. It is protected by the chicken coop system because, after all, those who are inside the yard have guaranteed food, do not take risks, do not need to hunt, survival parts are guaranteed inside the chicken coop. Even if in the end, it goes to the pot. Well, this area, at some point in her life, probably when she looks up at the sky and eventually sees some eagle flying, it's possible that deep down in it, she will look at this area and feel an attraction because she knows that, deep down, something is wrong inside her. Because, really, she's an eagle. She's not a chicken. This story speaks volumes about our identity, who we are and what we are. It doesn't depend on the system. It doesn't depend on what we have, even considering that society will give you more value and maybe give me much more value today than everything I achieved than when I was there, riding the train. But the truth is, by the time I was on the full train going to work, I was already an eagle. I already had my identity. My value has always been the same. Nothing has changed. Likewise, its value changes absolutely nothing. The big question is what you want to be. Whether you want to be an eagle or whether you want to be a chicken. This self-esteem is key for you to stand out. It is essential that you are not just another one in the crowd. Our way of being influences our financial results, what we accomplish is a consequence of all the values we have within us. What are your references? The differences are on the ground in the chicken coop. Let's make references. They're up there flying. Time only advances, the clock is ticking forward. The time that has passed is the time that has been left behind. That's why we can't waste time and we have to use that time creatively. Time never comes back. What we will invest in the most precious currency in the world, our time. Many people right now would pay billions, maybe trillions, to have one more second. Want to know something? Everyone here doesn't exactly have that. We have years ahead of us. Life is only one, and time does not come back. Time is very valuable. Do you know why? Because imagine the richest man in the world is in terminal cancer. How much money do you think he would pay for having five more years to live? All the money in the world. But you know what, all the money in the world doesn't buy any of that wants more. If all the money in the world doesn't buy a desire, which is more important, why don't we even sell? We give our time, we give hand kiss to people, to things, to situations that do not deserve a second of our time. I'm going to see this movie, is it serious even though I'm going to see seven seasons of this show? Is this series going to make me someone better? Even if I'm done, will it make me a better man? Attracting my friends, cheating on my wife, I'm a person of less character. So seriously, am I going? Mano, imagine a series, has 50 minutes, has certificate, the season has 14 episodes and has series that has 8 seasons of 14 episodes. Do the math man, you lost your life there, about 3 months without sleep, you who just scratched your calendar like this, hold on, let me see which one I'm going to give up. No. I don't want to have lived through August, or September, or October. Get that out of my life. 
And then when you get there at the end, you said you wanted to have another week, but you did. You had. But you tore it up. Know that today is a zero minute in the new life. Time can't choose from front to back right? For us, you can choose backwards. You can't choose to live a zero minute, a final minute. There's no way. By the time you get to the final minute, it's over, it's over. Oh, let's not do a little bit more, this one that team again. It's just that on the team of life it's not like that man. When the pointer points there, it's over, there's no more, I'll go back. No, you can't go back dude, that has to be our daily focus. When we open our eyes, this has to be the first question, where will I invest my time? If you buy on Monday a round the world trip for a month from now, I guarantee you that Monday already starts to get more interesting. There are 30 days left, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25 to go. Young people, please listen to me. If you have goals for the future, your present becomes more interesting, because you will travel in 30 days, in 29, in 28. If you have no prospect of the future, then the drug overwhelms you. Every drug addict I've met, every drug addict I've treated, I've cared for as a doctor, every junkie has lost the prospect of the future. I don't have a sense of tomorrow. He thinks it only exists today. Who only thinks it exists today will not worry what it wants, your future is a possibility and it is. Unknown until you realize what it will be and I suggest you focus there in the future because that is where you will spend the rest of your life. For this reason alone it is part of the nature of the human spirit to evolve. Once upon a time there was a writer who lived by the sea. He used to walk on the beach in the morning, afternoon and evening. One morning he was walking on the beach when from afar he spotted a young man dancing on the sand. That piqued his curiosity and he moved closer. When he approached and realized that the young man was not dancing, the young men were throwing things into the ocean. So what are you doing? Don't play, replied the young man. The tide is low, the sun is hot, those in the sea are dying dehydrated in the sand. I'm throwing them back into the ocean. My young man, says the writer, do you not understand that there are hundreds of miles of beach, hundreds of thousands of starfish in the sand? You throw one or the other back into the ocean won't make any difference. The young man went there, picked up a starfish, threw it into the sea, looked at the writer and said, for this one, I made a difference. Can I say something? Everything is worth it when the soul is not small. Thank you very much for watching us. Subscribe to the channel, share and leave your like and help us create more content to motivate your day.